Okay, so in example four, we've been told two people are pulling a box using two horizontal ropes, as shown in the diagram, uh, this diagram here. And the mass of the box is 24 kilograms. The tension in one rope is 12, and the acceleration of the box is 0 0.6. Assuming any resistance forces can be ignored, find the tension in the other rope. Okay, so let's have a think about what's going on here. So we have a box here, all right? Uh, it doesn't tell us that it's in a on a surface or anything. It just says two people are pulling it. Uh, it's in motion because it has acceleration. So if it mentions that a box or an item has has acceleration, it's in motion, and we should always mark on that motion. So the way I'm going to do that is by drawing on a double arrow, just at the top of my diagram somewhere, for acceleration, and I'm going to write 0 0.6 meters per second squared, or ms to the minus two. So just an arrow that has two of these, like a double arrow we call it. All right, so I know it's going in that in that direction. Now it says assuming any resistance forces can be ignored, so we can actually, uh, you know, just say that these are the only forces on it. So because it's in motion, all right, and it's being accelerated, and we also have a mass, we have a mass of this uh, object, this box. Uh, we can use Newton's second law, F equals m a. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write F equals ma, and we're going to do something called resolving, which means you look at all the forces uh, in the direction of its motion, in the direction of it, which is accelerating, which is 0 0.6, so to the right. So I'm going to write resolve, you can write resolve, or you can just write an R, which we'll be doing uh, after later on. So I'm going to write resolve, and I'm just going to write in the direction I'm resolving in, which is to the right. I've taken the right direction as positive. So now we're just going to look at all the forces taking this object to the right. Well, there's a force of 12 newtons in this first rope. So I'm going to do 12 plus another force in the second rope. But we don't know that force, but they've called it T. And that's because it's a tension force. When you pull something with a rope, it's a tension force that, that you're actually using. Tension is a pulling force, OK? It's the force in, like, say, a rope. When you pull something towards you, there's tension going towards you, tension in the rope. And that's what's causing the box to be pulled. So I've got 12 plus T acting in that direction. Those are the only forces acting on this box, and they're both acting to the right. Now, that's equal to MA. So I'm going to type in the maths. I'm going to use the mass of the box, which is 24 kilograms. Because it's in kilograms, I don't need to convert the units. Kilograms is our standard unit. 24 multiplied by the acceleration, which is 0 0.6. So basically subbed in the net force the mass and acceleration into this formula. So let's go ahead and solve this. So I'm going to have 12 plus t and then whatever 24 times 0 0.6 is. 24 times 0 0.6 is 14.4. Then I'm just going to go ahead and solve for t. 14.4 take away 12 is 2.4 and that's the answer to this question.